Hello. I'm going to talk about negative emotions. It's a subject that I wanted to say something about for quite some time. I'm afraid I haven't really prepared it, but I know quite a lot about the subject. I always had a lot of negativity and I was very offended when people told me that I shouldn't be negative because I I realized that being negative was my only hope and that my my problems were that it was blocked that it was suppressed it's a strange thing but um if you're angry it may be that you don't allow your angry energy to flow normally you don't push back you don't assert yourself and so you get angry and then somebody might try to help you to get rid of your anger to to suppress it even more to block your anger to to talk it out of you but that is wrong that is completely wrong that that will destroy you that will make you more fake that kind of repression and the misinterpretation of how you're functioning i think is very typical and if you understand what i'm saying you'll realize that it means that a lot of therapy is actually pushing people in the wrong direction and making them worse and i'm afraid if you need help then god be with you because you're going to go into this world people will fall over themselves to so called help you they'll take your money or they'll give you money and nearly all of them have no idea what they're doing they don't know what happens inside of people they haven't looked into themselves and yet they fall over themselves to to save the world to make everybody peaceful and happy i was thinking to myself earlier on that the earth itself this planet is alive is it always happy does the earth not manifest thunder and a glorious lightning that shatters the night that shatters through the darkness and makes way for something new isn't it true that these glorious outbursts of pure energy are part of life part of nature and they are beautiful and perhaps one day on the spur of the moment you will say what you really feel you will assert what you really feel and it'll feel good because it's true and sincere and coming from your gut comes from your soul in this world of fear and repression you said something true no longer any masks no longer holding back it just it just jumped out of you so here we are we we are no higher than we are we live in a world of lust of carnality we can't push it all away one day we can't pretend the more we pretend the worse it gets if you go with your unconscious negativity or you block your unconscious negativity 
neither of those indicate any learning at all and it's only learning that will make you conscious you must learn and you must not be afraid to learn if you don't know what to do do anything fight that's what Krishna tells Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita you must fight do not be afraid of engaging with life engage with this life you are made for a reason you are here on this planet it's messy it's dirty it's muddy it's noisy you're here because it matches what you are engage engage Krishna says I have killed you all already do not fear because I have killed you all already I said many weeks ago now that we are born in a river and it's a fast flowing river the only way to deal with this situation is to swim with the river to engage with its flow and by doing so it's like you catch the river you you have a purchase because you flow with it you swim with the current and you slowly slowly inch your way across not yet are you strong enough to turn and swim upstream you must swim with the current you must accept what is happening there may be something inside you that's thinking that you would like to do something different but you have to work with the soil you have to work with the people around you you have to do the job at hand you must deal with the situation as you find it you must must take whatever work is available and engage with it that's the only way you can grow you must begin here in other words do not dream of being higher than you are you must engage and engage sincerely and deeply there you will learn the basics of working in a line of choosing a task and finishing it and becoming a man of your word a man of honor a man who can do something even if it's small even if you're a child there's some children who can do that you give them something it's done i remember gurdjieff asking one of his students if i give you a bowl of carrots can you chop them for me can i trust you to do that much you would be surprised at how unreliable people are and how little they can do and how they their whole lives are automated by different rhythms the radio um a kiss from the wife the noise of this and the noise of that and how little conscious activity there is and you're lucky if you have one friend who you can trust with the worst with murder even one person who will not betray you one person who is really on your side one person who knows you in your soul